Hello everyone, Barb here from barbederholt.closetomyheart.com through the end of April. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today's project is my March 2024 Order Club card kit and it is featuring the Let's Go Anywhere papers and that is from Close to My Heart. Um, this was the card making workshop so the kit comes with enough materials to make four of each of these kits. It also comes with those thin cuts. This is what sold me on it. I just thought those were so adorable. I decided to focus on this uh, particular pattern to make my cards to thank my customers who ordered it during March. So here it is. And there are some techniques that I will show you today to get this card made. All of your card kits will come with the imagery stamped on it. You will also get your little wrinkled paper there. Um, in here, I'll pull it out to show you what's in the kit. So you have an envelope. And we have a card base. This is a five and a quarter, nope, five and a half by four and a quarter. We have a piece of pattern paper. This is toffee. Another piece of honey butter. <clears throat> Some pattern paper. And this was special in this kit, that combination. A piece of scarlet and a piece of pine and then this was i believe the back side of yes the back side of toffee and then this is the the light side of the honey butter i will put the dimensions in the description of the video i just don't have them off hand in my head there's a lot of pieces here but i will put them in the video description below First thing I think we're going to do is we're going to take this and we want to create um, this sort of leathery looking paper. And so I'm pulling in my Distress Sprayer. This is from Tim Holtz. And I'm going to give it a little spritz. So you can see it's all wet playing around with lighting today. So if my lighting looks really horrible, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm learning some new things that will hopefully make things better in the future. So I've got it wet. You can sort of rub it in with your fingers if you want. And then all you do is you just crumple it. So we're just crumpling this paper and pull it open a little torn it's a little ragged looking and that's kind of what we're going for so don't worry about anything like that happening it's fine you do need to set this aside so this is not a quick put together card you need to let that air dry so I do have one that's already done this is what it looks like when it's done drying you want the dark side to face up The other thing we need to do, we're gonna get out our pine ink. And we're gonna do a little stamping. So this is on the pine piece of paper. I don't think I need that one right now. And there's this little image here. In fact, I'll bring in the stamp set so you can see. So we're using this little sort of a star burst looking image that it's time to celebrate you and these arrows and of course we've got the little arms for our clock but this is just random stamping and you just go for it you can make it as heavy or as light as you want i am going to have this stamped for you. So 
So there we go. We have that. The next thing we need to do is I'm going to take my water brush and I'm going to just run it right down the edge and we're going to do some tearing. I'm right hand dominant, so I'm gonna hold it. And when you tear it toward you with our white core paper, you get that white edging. You can do, the, the instructions say a quarter inch to a half inch, so I think that's pretty close in there. See on the other side, it's not near as white looking, so we want this side. Then we do need to do some stamping. Oh, before I forget, I'm going to take the envelope and move some things out of the way. And I do want to do a little stamping on the envelope. I usually forget about this. So I've got a piece of paper and I opened my envelope. And I'm going to take that pine. I'm just lining the edge of my block up with the edge of the envelope and that helps to sort of keep me in line not perfect but that's okay just like that and that just puts a pretty little decoration on your envelope I think that's it for pine we are done with our water brush so we'll put that away the next thing I want to do is I'm going to do some banner ends on this piece of scarlet. Just snip up the middle and then from the corner to the end of that snip, both sides coming in. And it does call for you to do this from both sides. Now I do want to do some inking around the edges. I have my ink blender tool with my little foam pad. I take these foam pads off and I store them separately. And I have these little, they're like, they're a little jewelry bag. I think I picked them up from Hobby Lobby. I label what the color is. That's how I store them. I do not seal them closed in there. I leave the baggie open so that airflow can happen so you don't end up with any moldy issues. And here we have our toffee ink, and we need to do some inking around the edges. So I've got this open, and that prevents me from getting ink on the back side, though if it got there, it would be no big deal. There are no rules. So I've got that done. And I am going to go around all of these little rectangles and even a little bit on the pattern paper. Last thing we need to do is stamp our hands. So I've got the long one. It seems to work better for me to do the long one. If you, if you have this stamp, it does have a little arrow end. It's subtle. And I'm just lining it up with one of the big hands. And then there's a littler one. Okay, I think that's it for the toffee. And I'm gonna bring in the Versamark for my sentiment. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now it's time to assemble. And I am going to bring in my picture 
because I'm a visual person and I need to see that photo. I've got my card base. The next piece is our little leather looking piece. I am going to use my ATG gun. And for this one, I'm gonna run it all the way around the edges. And a little bit in the middle. Lots of nooks and crannies there, so I would like to get a lot of a lot of adhesive on there. It will stick up a little bit around the edges. That's part of the, the design. That doesn't look too bad. And next we have our pattern paper. And this again, we want to get good coverage because it's going on that bumpy paper. And we'll set it off to the side a little bit. It's a little crooked. I'm not happy with that. Okay. Then we've got these two, and I like to attach things like this together. So I'm going to put these two together and then center it as a unit. We've got our little banner piece. So I'm going to get that in there. And I am just eyeballing this. So just like that. And this bumps over a little bit. And it's time to put our clock together. like that. I think I'll pop up this little circle. You don't have to do that. You can leave it flat. this out. Okay, and I've got these three little stars. So there's one big one, and a little one, and another little one. So I think that looks good. I am going to use glue on those. it. That is how you assemble the March 2024 Order Club card kit. Isn't that cute? I think that's adorable. And you could certainly do this with any kind of stamp set that you like. And a special shape, perfect. Thank you for your orders in March. Have a blessed crafty day and I'll see you next time.